our walk is our testimony. So everything we do should be done with a spirit of greatness to achieve the highest levels of success. You must have a mindset that allows you to feel and experience deep emotions, but at the same time, not be held in bondage by them. Hear what I'm saying now. You gotta stop letting your emotions steer your life. It's time for you to get behind the wheel and put your life on the trajectory that you want to be on. Now as believers, we ought to function constantly in a state of meekness, but meekness is not weakness. See, there's nothing about God that is weak and God is in us. We should have one standard and that standard is greatness. It's time to have a real and fierce conversation with yourself. You gotta get down to the bottom to the truth, no more of that surface level, shallow existence. You gotta be real with you. If you can't be real with you, who can you be real with? Now, sometimes the truth is gonna hurt, but it's exactly what you need to hear. Now, you can either run from it and continue to struggle, or you can be real with yourself and make adjustments. It's up to you. Champions don't make excuses. They make changes. They make adjustments. They do whatever it takes to be the best of the best. That's the standard. Greatness. There's no box keeping you boxed in. It's just a mere belief that there is a box that is limiting you. That's your mindset, the way you're seeing your situation. See, champions see their situation different. They see every situation as a chance to exemplify and radiate the God they serve. There can't be no testimony without first having a test. Now you've heard me say this before, I don't think anybody should be able to carry the label of a champion until first they've been beat. Because anybody can do it when everything is good, when everything's going their way, anybody can do that. But when you get knocked down on the mat, when you get hit blindsided, when life hits you with a brick, then we're gonna find out what you made of. Then the champion arises. Overcoming is all about positioning. Putting your mind in a place to see the events, the circumstances, the challenges that you are facing. Being able to put your mind in a state that is empowered during the season of struggle. And if you can do that, there is nothing that can stop you. You gotta put your mind in a place that brings out the best in you, that brings out the greatness in you, that brings out that champion that's within so that you can display God in the world today. Every challenge and struggle that you overcome, every trial and tribulation that you conquer is a business card for God. It's the way God markets the kingdom through you. And let me tell you this, we're God all things are possible. Stop talking and let your actions be your response. See, I stay deeply and firmly rooted in the truth so that I can constantly respond to the world and what it throws at me in power. And you can do the same. Truth is the new black. Immerse yourself in it. God is good. The enemy don't want none of me. And he ain't gonna want none of you either when you figure this out. When you accept what I'm saying. I got a question for you. Are you living life or is life living you? How bad do you want to be successful? Are you ready to level up in life? Are you ready to go to that next level? Are you sick of being average? I ask you again, are you living life or is life living you? This August 4th, Orlando, Florida, less than unstoppable. The kickoff tour, I'll be teaching a four hour, life changing seminar on the art of greatness. Arise champion. This event will sell out. Get your tickets now. Billy Allsbrooks live August 4th, Orlando, Florida. Be there. Get your tickets now at billyallsbrooks.com backslash events. Take it from your ears into your mind, down into your heart. Until it gets to your spirit. And when it gets down in that spirit, walk this thing out. And when you do this, you'll hear every demon in hell shake when you come walking down the street. When 
truth is invited and welcomed into a situation. Breakthroughs are set in motion. Every problem that you have is just a truth problem. If there's something out of line, if there's conflict, strife, lack, whatever it is, sickness in your life, you are misaligned with one of God's universal principles. So all you have to do to bring order back into your situation is to align with God's principles. Now, you got to get along with God. Seek the word of God until you find out what's wrong in your situation. Right thinking if sustained long enough will eventually bring peace and order to any situation. And the word says, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. See, it starts in the mind. You gotta get your mind aligned with the principles of God. That's when change happens. A disciplined mind rooted in truth can do the impossible. Now I wanna make you aware of something. The enemy, your spiritual enemy, is gonna seek to invade your life through those closest to you. Those around you, that's how the enemy is gonna enter your life. So be aware, know the devices of the enemy, because this is gonna happen, I'm telling you. He uses the same strategy over and over and over. He's so predictable. Most of the time, he'll use these people against you and they won't even know that they are being used. So don't hold them responsible for what the enemy did. Place the blame where it belongs on your spiritual adversary. I'm gonna show you how warriors fight back now. The first thing you have to do is forgive those that have wronged you, that committed a transgression. Forgive them so that the devil does not get a foothold in you because that is his objective, to use these people to hurt you, to get your thinking, to get your emotions, to get in your mind so that he has a place that he can take up residency. Now, if you forgive them, you give him no place. This is where the warriors go to war, see? We forgive. And then we channel the anger, the bitterness, the strife, and all that negativity that has been put on us. And we channel it in such a way that it brings out greatness in us. There's nothing wrong with being angry and mad. It's just who you're angry and mad at. Get angry at the enemy, the real enemy. Now I'm gonna give you an example of one of the ways I respond when I get hurt. See, when I'm at the gym and I'm on the bench press, and I'm on rep number eight and I feel like I can't do 10. My arms ain't got no strength left in them when I feel that way. I think back to all the people that doubted me, who gave up on me, betrayed me, turned their backs on me. And I scream out real loud at the bench, I forgive you, but I am a champion and nothing is gonna stop me. And I get it in, five more reps. Six more reps, eight more reps, ten more reps. I find the strength in me that I didn't even know I had. Thank you, enemy. See, I tell the enemy, I want everything you robbed from me. Sevenfold. You're not going to rob and steal from me, enemy. I'm going to get mine because I'm a child of the Most High God. That's the same way that I do behind this microphone. I remember them seven years I went through with panic attacks. All my life that he robbed me for those seven years. And when I get behind this mic, I fight back. I remember what you did, enemy. And I'm coming to get mine. I'm a warrior champion. Always have, always will be. And with God, all things are possible. You don't want none of me. You thought you had me. But I was born a champion and I will rise up off this mat. And everybody I'm speaking to was going to do the same. Bring it on. I'm Billy Osbrooks, blessed and unstoppable. To God be the glory. Blessed and unstoppable. Success starts with putting the right things into your mind. And my new book, Blessed and Unstoppable, was strategically designed to align your mind with the laws of success. This curriculum will teach you the inner mechanics required to go from average to phenomenal. From living a life with limits to being blessed and unstoppable. As you follow this guide step by step, amazing breakthroughs will happen. 
New doors of opportunity will open and favor will begin to chase you down. Less Than Unstoppable is a 31-day devotional on the laws of success. This book will instigate the thought process and actions required to transform your life. Each day has a Bible verse, a teaching on that day's principle, a positive affirmation, a prayer for the day, self-assessment questions, success quotes, action steps, and a powerful inspirational message. Regardless of what field you're in, Less Than Unstoppable is your blueprint for success. Get your copy at LessThanUnstoppable.com. Also available on Amazon.